Hello everyone, Balkan here for QRiscompo.com and interesting news from the MWC. Finally, the Nokia X or codename Normandy is finally out and exciting news here is it gives us developers a lot of options to develop apps under this platform. As you notice, the Nokia X comes with its own um, services. If you've watched any of the videos from the MWC any of the reviews so I'm going to show you how to set up the SDK in this short tutorial um, to download the SDK for Nokia X on Windows platform you just come to this link here developer.nokia.com slash resources slash download I download this zip file I've already done this so I won't be downloading it again so after that you come to you extract the file to any folder of your own convenience. When you've extracted the file, you just you run the file. Yes. Go next. So um, what this actually tells us is we have to browse to the um, root address of our Android SDK. So let to click browse. I'll find it. Documents Android and I select SDK, select folder, then um, set location to where you want to save your Nokia X services. I'm going to save mine here. Installation doesn't actually take long. Um, the beauty of the Nokia X platform for me is it has a, a development kind of system I prefer to call Windroid because it has both the Windows 8 phone, Windows Phone 8 flavor, and the Android um, flavor. Of course, it's based on um, yeah, an Android 4.0. Um, Operating system, Jelly Bean, but no particular. I don't know the particular version of Jelly Bean. It has been fully customized by Nokia to actually make it look like a Windows phone. It has both the OneDrive and um, Skype. Another amazing feature is it has its own. Um, it has its own um, app store. It doesn't support Google Play services, so. This is going to be an entirely new market, so if you are a newbie, there's nothing wrong in picking up um, the Android, the Nokia um, X services, and uploading to your apps and knowing that your app will get a full um, review from users and tons of downloads. So, um, let's just wait while this installs. Yes, one thing to notice you need um you need to install the the Android um Android development in version 16 API 16 for this to actually install it's a requirement by this particular version of the and of the Nokia X services. Your yeah, installation has is complete. Let me finish. That is all you need to do. Next thing you have to you set it up within Eclipse so remove the file and Eclipse you can actually do the installation while Eclipse is running so you have to do that separately so Eclipse is up so come to our SDK manager so our SDK manager is coming up What we are going to do here is we are going to set up our Nokia X SDK add-ons. 
I've already gotten the address here. If it pulls up, if it pulls up, not get a call. Okay, x slash repository slash add-on. So you just copy this and you come to your SDK tools, come to the tools section and um, click manage add-on site. These are defined. And you can see I've already set up one previously. So you can just click new, paste the URL here and click OK. So um, I'll close this. What this actually helps us do is anytime we have an update, we'll be able to see it in our SDK manager under the extras category as you can see we have the Nokia X devices definition services and USB already installed. That means we can actually import these classes to our project and use this for our Nokia X um we will open so um, that will be all for the installation of Nokia X or Nokia normally set up. I hope this helps so please leave a comment and subscribe um if you uh, we'll be developing i'm uh, working on tutorials on this particular platform just to see how or what Nokia X actually feels like thank you